Hello everybody. Today I wanted to show you how you can take your iPhone and you can connect the hotspot on your iPhone to your Windows computer so that you can have internet access wherever you're at on your Windows computer and that way you can get to anything you might need. Your email, just surfing the web, maybe you want to watch a video. So let's go over to the computer and I'm going to show you exactly what steps we need to take in order for you to do that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your iPhone and you want to make sure it's unlocked and you're looking at the home screen. Then you want to go into your settings so you can swipe down and start typing in settings and then you can just click on settings right there and they'll open it right up. Now what you want to do is you want to go into your Wi-Fi and you want to actually turn it off. I know that sounds weird, but you want to turn it off and then you want to go back to settings and you want to go to your personal hotspot and you want to turn it off. Okay, so I know you're wondering, well, why did we just turn both of them off? Well, I'm resetting everything to make sure that the computer is going to connect and not have any problems. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to settings and I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi back on. And I'm going to go back to settings again and I'm going to go to the personal hotspot and I'm going to turn it on. Now that we've got the hotspot on and it's running you should be able to connect on your computer. Now, if you have an old computer, it's running like Windows XP, Windows 7, something that's an older operating system, maybe an old version of Linux or an old version of the Mac operating system, you might want to go in there and turn on maximum compatibility. That way the computer will be able to connect to it. So it'll offer it as a different, like 802.11b or 802.11g instead of one of the newer standards, like 802.11n or AC. But if you have a newer computer that's got Windows 10, Windows 11, maybe even Windows 8.1, you don't have to turn that on. Now, one thing I do to make sure this is going to connect is I make sure that the screen stays on and you leave it on personal hotspot. And now on the computer, I'm going to go over here to the Wi-Fi icon and I'm going to click on it. And then you should see your hotspot show up. There we go. There's my hotspot. So I'm going to click on it and then I would hit connect. Now, if you click on connect and you don't have the password saved, that's okay. What you're going to do is there's a password right here. You're going to type that password in and then tell it to connect. But mine already had that entered. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll be able to hit connect and then it should work perfectly. Now, if it doesn't, that's okay. I've got another way to show you how to get it to connect as well. Okay, so for some reason this one didn't connect. Not a problem. If you encounter that, it means you probably have it saved and you need to go in there and you just need to delete the saved network and then we're going to try it again so i'm going to go to the network and internet settings and i'm going to go over here to wi-fi and i'm going to manage my known networks now if you see right here there's my hotspot but i'm going to click on it and i'm going to tell it to forget okay now i'm going to close this window and i'm going to go back down here and i'm going to click on the wi-fi now you want also you want to make sure that you leave your phone open and it needs to be on that personal hotspot so that it'll show up here. Now I'm going to click on my iPhone 13 Pro and then I'm going to tell it to connect. Now here it wants to know my key. So I'm going to go ahead and put my password in and then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And then it wants to know do you want it to be discoverable by other PCs and other devices that are on the network. Well, there's nothing else that's connected, so that's not a problem, but I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And now it's connected. So now if I go on to the internet and I don't know, let's just go and do a quick speed test. Okay. And so here it is. It pulled up the website and if I click go, it should do a quick speed test and everything should go through and I should be able to connect to the other tower or will connect to the tower and connect to the other server that's in apparently Aniston, Alabama.
and I'm getting decent speed. I mean, that's great if you're just using it for a hotspot. It's not going to be a home internet speed, but this is fantastic for just a hotspot that you need if you're out and about or you just need it temporarily to upload something or watch something or get something off the internet. So I think this will help you out a lot. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back to you about it. And if you can, because y'all do such a great job, please like and subscribe so I can keep putting up all this great content. I love helping y'all out with all these videos and getting all this stuff working for you all with the different flash drives that you need to boot up your Mac or your Windows and creating the hotspot so you can connect it to your computer. And if there's anything else that you'd like, please let me know that also. I really appreciate you all, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!